Long throw, Colwell couldn't get there. It's a chance for Jankowskis. Into the arms of Zagutel action. I think Jankowskis did all the right things here. He's got himself up. He's got the overhead kick which you want there. He's got a foot on it. He's just a little bit unlucky. He didn't get enough power on it. But Smith was getting there all the time, putting him under pressure. Free kick against Hearts. The hips continue to try and pressure their neighbours. Smith plays it forward. Benjamin loses out. Skatchel on to Hartley. Hearts are coming forward. Jankowskis wide one side. Elliot the other. Jankowskis driving in. Jankowskis on to Hartley! Hearts take the lead! Joy on Paul Hartley's face says it all. It's his first Scottish Cup goal for Hearts in his tenth appearance, and that's what it means to the Hearts team. What a fantastic run! Not the first time I've seen that, but look at this. Benjamin has lost the ball again. He's played into him. He has to be strong. He has to be big, be big and hold it up. And then it is four against three there. And look at that run by Hartley. Gets into a great area. Great awareness outside of his right foot, and that's a great goal. There's nothing the goalkeeper can do about it. And that is a quality goal from a quality player, it has to be said. But the Hearts players were quick enough to get up and support them. You can't give too many opportunities away like this because Paul Hartley, his delivery is usually fantastic. So Paul Hartley. You need to see he's got Scatchel, who nobody has picked up. And the referee's probably blocking the ball to Rudy Scatchel. Hartley's going for goal! Looking for that near post all afternoon, and he's finally found it there. The goalkeeper couldn't get across, he's taken one step away, and that was a great goal from that angle. It was a dangerous angle. Now you mentioned Paul Hartley has got the great delivery. Well, you don't get much better than that. What a fantastic goal to score in the semi final. Whipped in the hips defence. Look at the goalkeeper, he was too far to one side. The ball over the line before he connects with it, and Paul Hartley can turn and celebrate. Precisely what he does. It's a tall order now for Hibs. Hearts knocking on the door of the Scottish Cup final. It's Hibs nil, Hearts two. Coming in there was Michaelunas with Murphy with a head up. Now Ivan Sproul. Michaelunas walks up and then tumbles on the ball. And then goes down. And then he claimed he was stood on. And some of the Hearts players don't like that. Michaelunas says he was caught. Sproul brings a miserable afternoon for himself to an end. The red card, he kicked out of the substitute. So there's Michaelunas. And Ivan Sproul, who graced this competition with three goals, is disgraced with a red card. Yeah, dead, he's, it was a great tackle there, but he's got back there. He's trying to get over. He feels there's been a dive there, and because of that, he's doing the clear. There is no doubt the player has made absolutely the most of it, but you do not stand in players. Fresh hog. Fires it forward, Whitaker, good control. Chesnowskis now on the left, was there. Driven forward, Jankowskis is going in on the goalkeeper. Malkowski wanted all day, Jankowskis wraps it up for Hearts! A horror show by the Hibs goalkeeper, Jankowskis closed them down. And then guy Jankowskis ensures that Hearts go through to the Scottish Cup on the 13th of May. It's Hibs now, Hearts three. Oh, it's painful. You know, on a day, you want it to be a big day. The goalkeeper had a good first half, but this is a dreadful error. He waited far too long there. Jankowski. Jankowski could actually have gone down and had him sent off, but uh, he held the ball up. I thought he held it quite a long time. He was getting a narrow angle there. He passed it calmly into the net, and it has to be made over the, the period of the game, particularly the second half. Hearts have deserved this. And, uh, So just playing out the time. Ball over the top. Pospisil goes in there. He's dragged by a penalty kick, and Gary Smith's in trouble. Gary Smith will see the colour of the card being red. He pulled back tonight. A goal scoring opportunity. We didn't think it could get any worse for him. Quite simply, it has. The script's not going the way we wanted it to go there. You do not want players sent off. And you know, there's a lot of pride to play for here as well. There's no doubt 
as we said, had the pace, it was absolutely clean as a whistle, there's no argument at all. Pulled him back, the jersey moving, and Paul Hartley will take it. Joe Baker got three, a hat-trick in a Scottish Cup tie. Will he go for the same corner again? Lace that bottom right-hand corner. Paul Hartley, a chance of a hat-trick in the Scottish Cup semi-final. Steps up and scores! The eighth player in Hearts history to score a hat-trick against the local rivals. The Three Fingers celebrates the three goal score by Paul Hartley. Captain for the second half celebrates. It's Hartley's hat-trick and Hibs trail by four goals to nil. I have to say Paul Hartley deserves it. He's been, uh, he's been smashing this afternoon. Took it easy at the start and uh, bottom right corner, goalkeeper, bottom right of the goalkeeper's side and uh, he loves that corner. He's been in for it all afternoon. It's maybe only a surprise that he's only got three there. Barely a couple of thousand Hibs fans left inside Hamden Park as the ball gets played forward. Fisas knocks it away. Whitaker trying to go in there. And referee Stuart Dunhill says that is it. It's Hibs' heaviest semi-final defeat in 26 years. It's Hearts' victory. They're now going to the Scottish Cup final for the 13th time. Down to nine men and a 4-0 defeat. Hibs, more than a century-long wait for a Scottish Cup win will continue for at least another year. It's Hearts' day. And they will now go forward to meet Gretton up in the Tennant Scottish Cup final on the 13th of May here at Hampton. And today, for celebrations in Maroon.